my name is Jill Bray Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center and your host of the NMC Health Beat Show, dedicated to discussing important healthcare topics of interest to our community. On today's show, I'll be talking about cardiac capers with Helen Viggy, the chair and now fearless leader of this musical variety show. So Helen, thank you so much for being with us today. You're welcome, my pleasure to be here. I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> because whenever I see you, I know it's cardiac capers time. <laughs> These two years fly by too fast. Yeah, some see, people see me and they start running the other way. <laughs> <laughs> so I know we're kind of laughing and joking about it, but um, I know there, and most people probably go to this show and they know exactly what we're talking about. But just in case there's some new viewers, can you give us a, a little bit about what is Cardiac Capers? Well, it's a variety show that we do every two years to benefit the Northwest Medical Center Auxiliary. Um, it's a very unique show because we put everything together in two and a half weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no. uh, it's fast and furious, but not really. Um, you know, we have our set rehearsal times and whatever, but it's a show that most of the community truly, truly enjoys. Um, I've seen people all through the year and they say, is it carpet, caper year, is it caper year? <laughs> and they're very anxious to come to see it again. Once you've been to one, usually we'll get them back again because they've so enjoyed the shows. So when did this all get started? How did it get started and, and, and when did it get started? So how long has it been going on? So it's was this your brainchild or? Not my brainchild, although I was in from the very beginning. <laughs> it started in 1980. Oh, and wow. uh, like I say, we perform every two years. Um, it was started by Johnette Dusham and uh, Beverly McGinn. Ah. Johnette's sister had this company who um, had visited her town and had put this show on, and she absolutely loved it. So she told Johnette about it, and she said, What a great show it was, a very uh, big community builder, mm -hmm. and a good uh, resource for funds for their hospital. Mm. And so she thought, that she would bring it to St. Albans. And so she and Beverly uh, researched it, contacted the company. And that first year, we had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was involved just as a participant, as an assistant uh, talent chairman. Um, Michelle Lovett and I were asked to do that, and we did. And then the following, well, the, the next show, we were asked to take it over um, as talent chairman. Um, and so we've been doing this since 1980, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. been a lot of fun. So, and so what inspired you to originally get involved? Well, I have a musical background. Okay. I, I was, I started performing when I was a little child. My mother put me in everything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think she was living her dream through me. <laughs> and I, I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. And so... Um, I had always been in the school plays and mm. been in musicals and whatever, and so when they asked me to do it, it was something that I thought I'd really like to do, mm -hmm. and I, I have. I've enjoyed it very much. And then in, in 2002, we broke away from the company okay. and decided to start writing our own shows and, and directing and doing everything, um, and it's proved to be a good uh, decision. We, we've enjoyed having the, um, the freedom of um, being our own bosses. Sure. Yeah, so it's been a lot of fun. Well, you're amazing at it, so it's... Uh, it's time consuming. Yeah. I bet, I bet, I bet. And, it, and at times it must feel like you're herding cats and trying to... People are working, they have other things, and trying to get it all coordinated in two and a half weeks. And what's the preparation time? I mean, um, to put something on like this, I mean, two and a half weeks is what we see, but what happens with you and your committee. Well, behind the scenes, um, our show ends in October, as you know. We start the following January mm -hmm. for not that year, but the following year. Wow. We start a meeting. We have a committee. We start meeting and start throwing out ideas about what kind of show we want. Our shows usually ah. have a theme, and so um, we start throwing out ideas about what we would like to do in the next show, and then we start writing it. and. There's a lot. There's a lot behind the scenes. It, there is a lot of work involved on our end. Yeah. What does the production look like? I mean, uh, take well, us through a little bit of uh, the work that's behind it. Because we got to give credit where credits due. I mean, uh, my goodness, you're almost preparing a full two years for the next one. <laughs> we are. Um, 
we do a lot of research on the kind of music we want to do, what we want to do, then we have to order the music, and we have to get people on board, obviously, to to perform and to, uh, and the musicians, you know, mm -hmm. so uh, there's a lot of work involved. I, I, I'm not denying that. You know, we've been writing since, we're still writing. We just finished actually writing the script uh, to the show just a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> and and what month is <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, uh, and then we've been working all summer with the dance, uh, our dance team. We have about four or five key people who choreograph all the dances. Mm. So every Monday night we meet at Northwest Medical Center wow. to uh, choreograph the dances. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So who's in the show? I mean, how, how do you get, tell us about who's in it and how do you get in it? And well. Anybody who wants to be in it, you know, anybody who has theatrical aspirations, really. <laughs> um, and some people who don't, they just say, oh, I don't have any talent. And I say, well, come aboard and just see what you want to do. And once they get there, they get, oh, I could do that. You know, and so it's anybody who really feels that they would like to perform. The only restriction that we have is that it is for adults only. Okay. Um, not because it's that kind of a show, obviously, but it's because we feel that there's so many things out there for, for students and young people sure. and young adults that this is something that adults can do without having to worry about having young people, um, you know, being in, in the show. It, it is their thing. So they do have to be over 18. Mm -hmm. That's one of our bylaws. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I guess I it never does. understood that, but yeah. it makes a lot of sense. There's not a whole lot of theatrical, um, um, what do I want to say, avenues for adults who like to perform or like mm -hmm. to sing. You know, there are choirs and things like that. But this is a very unique type of show where you can come and be silly and have fun. And, yeah. oh, you know, even if you're not that good, you still have fun and people exactly. love you. <laughs> exactly. It's, yeah. it's crazy fun. Yeah, it is. So this benefits um, the hospital and the auxiliary. How does that donation work? Well, um, last year we were able to give the auxiliary twenty-three thousand dollars. Wow, it's and, just amazing. Yeah, we have given over um, a quarter of a million dollars to the uh, auxiliary to wow. do with as they feel there's a need, wherever the need is for the hospital. Oof. Yeah, so they've done some wonderful things. I know one year we worked on the diagnostic image um, room, and we've bought rocking chairs and. We've done uh, all kinds of things with the, with the proceeds from Cardiac Capers. Wow. So is there any sneak preview? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let us in on this. <laughs> that is the one thing that I get hound about the most. <laughs> What's the show about? What's the show about? And the, the fun part about this show, um, and it's kind of twofold, um, is that people... They, they don't know what they're going to get till they get there. <laughs> <laughs> that it's, is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Even the performers have no That's idea. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of fun. We've never revealed, and that goes way back to 1980, we've never revealed what the show was about beforehand mm -hmm. until um, we have our kickoff meeting. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that in a minute, but um, <laughs> and it's it's kind of fun. It's there's that little mystique about it that oh, I wonder what they're doing this year. <laughs> and you know, it's always musical. You know that. Right. But it's the theme. Um, last show's theme was uh, music around the world. Yes. And that was a lot of fun. We did music from every country that we could think of and, yeah. um, and we do singing and dancing and skits and whatever so it's not just singing or dancing there's a bit of everything mm -hmm. this year we're bringing it home <laughs> and uh, it's just going to be very musical and funny a lot of comedy this year <laughs> <laughs> oh really yeah <laughs> so no favorite skit or anything we can share well, you know, it's, it's, I, always, I always have favorites. <laughs> um, I have a couple this year, but I'm not revealing that. <laughs> you know, one of the things, because this will be, I think, my fourth one. Yeah. And every year, it's the best. <laughs> Everybody said, this is the best ever. And I'm thinking, since 1980, this is the best ever. So how can you keep getting to be the best ever? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we have some crazy people writing. <laughs> okay, so when is this event and how do you get tickets? Because okay. uh, people are going to be lining up for this year. Yes. Our kickoff party 
is going to be the 26th of September okay. at the Northwest Medical Center cafeteria at seven o'clock. So if you're interested in being in the show, please come. And then this is our poster for Cardiac Capers. And you'll see on here places where we can get tickets. Tickets are available at like, uh, let's see, Northwest Medical Center, St. Albans Free Library, Food City, Hannaford Supermarket in Swanton and in St. Albans, Steeple Market in Fairfax, and the Georgia Market. Tickets are uh, $10 on Wednesday night. It's our bargain night. And tickets are $12 uh, for Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So it's at BFA, and it's October 19th to the 22nd. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so exciting. So um, what prompts so many people to want to be involved in this show, do you think? Because I know your kickoff, I mean, I've been there. People show up, or you see some... A lot of familiar faces, but then they bring on some new ones. What really motivates people to show up? What do you think is driving this community to come back every year to be part of this show? I think that they have so much fun in a short time. Yeah. You know, usually when a play is happening, it's going to take months and months and months to put this together. Whereas with us, it's two and a half weeks. So you're not committing to months of rehearsal. Mm -hmm. um, and they always have fun. That's the thing. They always mm -hmm. come back because they have a good time doing it. Yeah. And it's a, it's a really good community builder. Um, I've met more people through the community that I know I would never have met before through Cardiac Capers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just come on. See what it's about. And you don't have to sign up if mm -hmm. you don't want to. But if it's something that you think you'd be interested in, we'd certainly love to have you. We have chorus numbers. You know, so the people who do not want to sing alone or duets mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. that can sing in the chorus. And there are dance numbers if you like to dance. And there's comedy skits and just all kinds of things. So it's for really anybody, adults, Adult, yeah. but for anyone, even yeah. uh, if they're contemplating, uh, geez, I've never been in it. Um, hey, show up, right? Absolutely. Or give you a call or something. We or... love to get new people because it brings new enthusiasm. Yeah. You know, our, 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 veteran performers come and we love to have them because I know what they can do. They're great. But we love to see new people because it does bring that new enthusiasm yeah. to the show. Mm -hmm. That's terrific. Yeah. Well, you can't tell us about this show, but is there a, a favorite skit or song that you have in the, in the past many years that you know, is your favorite when you look back? What? Yeah, I think last year, um, one of my favorite things was our finale. We had never done anything about Christmas before. And because we were going around the world, and when we, we came home, we came home to Radio City Music Hall. Mm -hmm. And the performances and the numbers in that show, in that finale, was spectacular. I loved that. Yeah. That, that was, was one beautiful. of my favorites, yeah. Yeah, you're so right. Well, you do an amazing job. You mean the energy, people also gravitate to you and your leadership, and you're just very inspirational well, with this, and so much about life, you know, to live yeah. fully and happy and joy and, and give back to the community. And Well, if, you know, I always look at it this way. If it's something you really love doing, it's not a chore. It's fun, and it's, yeah. you know, it's rewarding. Um, and I've always liked that entertainment part of myself, so that's where it comes from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the auxiliary um, through the Cardiac Capers has really been, um, have set the tone for the capital campaign at the hospital by giving $100,000. And that's only possible because of the Cardiac Capers mm -hmm. in that event. And so we're so grateful uh, for all the auxiliary does mm -hmm. um, for Northwestern Medical Center. So it's very powerful. And we have such a good team of people to work with. I mean, I couldn't do it, you know, without this core yeah. people i mean you know you've got Vern colburn who plays our music and yes. you know i've got um joanne and dave chambers and yes. um ellen gissel and you know our dancers diane diane uh, bully and diane weishauer and all their dancers and i mean they're there every monday night to put the dances together it's incredible it, it is incredible it's a passion it incredible yeah yeah well thank you so much Looking forward to the show. Okay. <laughs> well, we hope to see everybody there. Yes. If you yes. can't perform, at least come and watch. That's right. Hey, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, great entertainment and the price is reasonable. So, And that's the 19th through the 22nd of October.
That's right. At okay. BFA. At BFA. At their Excellent. new PAC Center. Mm, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Great show. Looking forward um, to, uh, to being there and being part of the event. And so thanks again for your leadership. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. This is uh, Jill Barry Bowen, your host of the NMC Health Beat Show. And I will see you at Cardiac Capers, October 19th through 22nd. Don't miss it. It's so much fun.